Hi everyone. Now we are going to discuss about the evidences of evaluation. How evaluation is occurs? What are the evidences? Scientists collected various types of evidences. Already we learnt about what embryologic evidences, paleontologic evidences, and also what homologous organs, analogous organs, biogeographical evidences of evaluation, and uh, vestigial organs also proof of evidences for evidence of evaluation okay so many evidences we are discussed about that one okay even uh, okay homologous analog on the, between the organ anatomical organs also similar structurally similar and functionally different and functionally similar and structurally different we learned about the various types of evidences of evaluation not only that evidences the other evidences of evaluation some more evidences of evaluation we are going to discuss it today okay what are that one okay the first one is connecting links what is connecting links okay it connects these organisms are connect something what they connects these organisms are connects one group organisms to other organisms one group organisms to other groups that means even connecting links also evidences of evaluation. Connecting links, that means what is the meaning of connecting link? These organisms connects another group of organisms. For example, one example is there. The first example, we took what viruses is the example of connecting link. Virus, nowadays we are discussing about COVID. COVID. Corona, especially for viruses, if viruses are the connecting link between living organisms and non-living things. Viruses are the connecting link. That means these organisms connect living and non-living things. How can you say like that? That means when the viruses are having in outside the body, outside the host body, they behave like non-living things they behave like non-living organisms they are not multiply they are not reproduce outside the body when the viruses are enter into the body there are multiply they reproduce and multiply they increase the number of viruses inside the body only but and outside the body simply non-living thing when it is enter into the body they behave like what again living things so that viruses are the connecting link between living organisms and non-living things that is also one of the proof of evaluation okay next one is euglena we know very well about that one euglena is the example of protozoa euglena generally okay if you observe the structure of euglena euglena it have two characters one is plant character and female of plant characters and also what animals character both characters is there in that sometimes it behaves like night time it behave like animal during morning time it behave like what plant so that it is not plant it is not animal what is that one it is a connecting link what it connects euglena connects plants and animals so that that is also one of the proof one of the evidence one of the evidence of evaluation of plants and animal which is that one euglena why euglena is the evidence why because it okay, morning time for example euglena belongs to protozoa euglena at morning time during morning daytime it behave like plant why because photosynthesis occurs in, at during daytime at night time photosynthesis is not occurs it behave like animal so that it is not animal it is not plant so that what is that one that is a connecting link between what living and so sorry plants and animals okay and next one prote proterospongia proterospongia this is the this is belongs to protozoa it is the connecting link. What it connects? It connects protozoans. Protozoan means unicellular organisms. Who connects? Proterospongia. Proterospongia belong to protozoa. It connects protozoa and porifera. Porifera is the sponges, multicellular organisms. In invertebrates, porifera cylinderata starts with porifera. 
cellular level of body organization that means protozoa unicellular to multicellular evolution is occurs here the mediator connecting link is what proterospongia important try to remember proterospongia connects protozoa and porifera and uh, peripetus very very important will belong to arthropoda peripetus it is a connecting link between annelida and arthropoda annelida annulus we know earthworm is the example of annelida arthropoda cockroach but which is the connecting link between both annelida and arthropoda phylum the peripetus the organism name is peripetus okay like that it is having the peripetus okay organism arthropoda legs is there it look like worm both characters is there so that it is a peripetus is the example of what it is a connecting link between annelida and arthropoda neophylaena it is belongs to mollusca it is connecting link between annelida and mollusca very important try to remember the names neophylaena it is a connecting link between annelida and mollusca and balanoglossus we know balanoglossus is the connecting link, bet link between non chordata and chordata it is a connecting link between why because some of the characters of what non chordates and some of the characters of chordates also is there so that both characters is there little bit both characters is there so that balanoglossus is the connecting hemichordata connecting link between non chordata and chordata and also dipnoid fishes dipnoid lung fishes these dipnoid fishes are connecting link between fishes and amphibians dipnoid fishes or lung fishes are the connecting link between what fishes and amphibians okay and also next one archaeopteryx bird the bird name is archaeopteryx archaeopteryx bird it have two character one is reptile characters nails bone marrow okay feathers especially leg is covered with feathers okay some of the reptile characters is there rep some of the sorry okay reptile characters in birds character wings long wings okay birds character both characters is there so that it is not a bird it is not a reptile what it is archaeopteryx is a connecting link between reptiles and birds so that evolution is occurs from reptiles to birds are origin how can you say from reptiles to birds example is archaeopteryx why because archaeopteryx having both characters what reptiles characters and avian character that is a good example of what archaeopteryx and pro prototheria prototheria which is having what theria okay prototheria is also that is connecting link between reptiles and mammals prototheria belongs to mammals actually it is connecting link between what reptiles and mammals okay so that connecting links also evidences of evolution so that evidence that mean what evolution is occurs organisms are origin from other organisms other groups how can you say examples is their connecting links these connecting links are evidences of what evolution and not only connecting links and living fossils what is the meaning of living fossil living fossil means what from ancient from old to at right now there is little bit changes occurs in their body they look like from from starting to right now that ancient time to whatever period going on right now every, that mean there is no changes in that organisms in that organisms little bit changes occurs in that organism little bit evolution is occurs but it look like same how it is having in ancient time same as it is structures as it is physical as structures everything is same so that that is we can call living fossil that is fossil means what that is the which is ancient but here living that mean what ancient time to right now there is no changes in that organism that's why we can call living fossil examples peripetus belongs to arthropoda that is living fossils limulus belongs to arthropoda that is also living fossils okay nautilus that is also what mollusca neophylaena mollusca lingula 
ओके ब्रांकिओपोडा दैट इज आल्सो व्हाट लिविंग पॉजिस लैटिमेरिया चालुने वी नो वेरी वेल सिलोकॉन फिश दैट इज आल्सो व्हाट स्पेशली फॉर लिविंग फॉसिल सिलोकॉन फिश एंड स्पिनोडॉन पंक्टेटम दिस स्पिनोडॉन पंक्टेटम 1 मीटर लॉन्ग स्पेशली लुक लाइक लिजर्ड दिस look like same as it is how it is having in old ancient times same as it is there is no changes in that organism okay new zealand we are observed this pinodon pancreatum reptilia belongs to reptilia and the what didelphis opossum males opossum that is also what we can call living fossils try to remember the living fossils names also these living fossils also evidences of evolution okay the organisms are origin that time same characteristics are going on in their body so that that is also one of the evidence of evolution and next one atavism what is the meaning of atavism this is a important concept atavism okay what is the meaning of atavism 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 means what uh, reversion reversion means um, in russia what happened one baby recently one baby born with long canines okay teeth here canines is there which is useful to tear long sharp canines okay the baby born with long canines and total body covered with what hair thick hair generally babies are born with what especially for okay uh, everything is what uh, very beautiful Uh, they don't have a hair that much of hair body is not covered with any hair even in a head also little bit hair only they're born with little bit hair but that baby we, who is born in uh, uh, russia he, that baby is totally fierce also totally the baby is covered with what hair thick hair and also canines also long sharp long canines he born with what is that one that is the character of primitive man try to understand whatever concept what the baby born with like primitive man in ancient person so that what is atavism the meaning of atavism means here it is reappearance sudden reappearance of ancient structures suddenly reappeared sometimes we are seeing in villages uh, um, some type of cough some type of uh, okay uh, some type of uh, okay we are seeing goat and uh, some type of, we are observe what horns and some type of other characters are the born with other characters that is a, what is that character or that mean what in ancient that character is there already so that sometimes it is reappearance that characters the human being is evolutive lot of evolution is occurs in well in human beings but in russia one baby is born that is also one of the evidence that mean in ancient time human being is like that evidence is of atavism reversion reversion okay that baby we can call lion's baby who who were born was born in russia that baby can call lion's baby the face the body is covered with long hair and everything hair so that the baby is called lion's baby very important and uh, next one one more evidence evidence of physiology and biochemistry what is physiology and biochemistry okay generally in all living organism it contains same type of protein same type of dna and same type of rna the structure of dna and rna resemble to other organisms also so that some relation is there between the organisms how can you say the dna dna is protein rna protein dna rna protein these proteins are resembled in other organisms also so that biochemistry why because okay bio molecules whatever bio molecules means what in living organism made up of some compounds molecules some compounds 
these compounds same as it is compounds are having in other organisms also like dna rna and protein some type of uh, uh, okay some type of what glucose and everything okay so that some relation is there between the organisms and also what especially for trypsin enzyme is there trypsin enzyme that is a primitive enzyme this enzyme same enzyme is having in another organisms also trypsin thyroxine hormone also metamorphism in what we called in frogs that mean trypsin and amyl is similar structure is there trypsin hormone hormone having in another organisms also that mean between the organisms having relationship that relationship explained with g h f natal scientist explained with what some test that is we can call precipitation precipitation test serological evidence he proved that between the organisms having some relation in biomolecules who is that one g h f natal he did what he did precipitation test serological evidences he proved that between the organisms some relationship is there in biomolecules okay these are the evidences of evaluation